A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yesterday we learned that when we are questioned about our identity in Christ, we must maintain the attitude of faith irrespective of all that we are facing, being confident in what God says about us rather than what the devil questions. This morning we learn that when our identity and faith are under attack, we are called to respond to the test with God's word. A new minister was asked to teach a boys class in the absence of the regular teacher. He decided to see what they knew. So he asked who broke down the walls of Jericho. All the boys denied having done it. And the preacher was appalled by their ignorance. At the next deacon's meeting, he told about the experience. Not one of them knows who knocked down the walls of Jericho, he lamented. The group of deacons were silent until finally one seasoned veteran of disputes spoke up. Preacher, this appears to be bothering you a lot, but I've known all these boys since they were born and they're good boys. If they said they didn't know, I believe it. Let's just take some money out of the repair and maintenance fund, fix the wall and let it go. As funny as it sounds, the situation is quite serious. Today many Christians walk in defeat, stress and worry because they have no proper knowledge of God's word. Jesus declared that only the truth can set us free. Therefore, we are called to make every effort to study God's word faithfully and consistently so that we may withstand the days of evil. Precious ones, let us deposit God's word on a daily basis. Let us seek to study, memorize, meditate, read and hear God's word. Let us invest in the weapon of truth so that we may defeat the lies that come from the enemy's mouth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Help me to invest more and more time in meditating the truth that sets me free. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Marnatha.